Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will be playing from the Sega Genesis Classics Library, one of my most beloved childhood Sega games, and that is the 1989 RPG Fantasy Star 2. So let's get it fired up. And this game, I, I don't know how widespread and how known it was. Uh, it seemed like it was only known by myself uh, and a couple of my friends uh, growing up. Uh, but this is an amazing RPG. So let's uh, see. Yeah, play. And here we see, I don't know who these two ladies are, if they have any significance at all, to be honest. But the three planets in the background are quite significant in the storyline and really the saga of Fantasy Star 2 and the Fantasy Star series. So I don't know if it goes into the intro scene from here. Here we go. Oh wait, this is uh, just the demo. I guess not. Okay, so I guess we have to start the game for the intro scene to play. It's been so long, I don't remember. So anyway, well, we'll just uh, let the demo run. Just gives you it gives you a brief overview of the map. One thousand years have passed since the evil Lassic was defeated by Alice and friends. As you can see, there's some, uh, looks like some settlements, some bio, lots of biodomes, uh, waterways, bridges, trees, very grassy. Algo has processed, processed, prospered under the care of a giant computer named Mother Brain. We'll hear more about her all throughout the game. Uh, lots of forests and got some mountains. Another structure <clears throat> which we will visit. Yes, that's right. Mother Brain basically terraformed this planet so that it could sustain abundant life and the people of Algol became soft in the long years of peace yes they did uh, we will also visit that structure all the structures that uh, we've seen so far we will visit including the dams that and here is our starting city of I think it's Paseo Evil threatens the system again. Who will be able to unlock Algol's secret? Well, of course, it's going to be us. All right. <clears throat> I had forgotten about that intro scene. That's kind of cool. All right. Data check complete. There is no data. New game. Wait, did we mess up? Did we press the wrong button? We did. Uh, we'll just do the default. I think, can we just do end? It's Rolf, right? I just want to do the default. I am haunted by nightmares every night. A young girl is battling a giant demon. I am close by but can't move or speak. All I can do is watch while the demon keeps striking at the girl. Just as she is fighting for her life, I awake. I awake in my room, dimly lit by the early dawn. I am filled with incredibly sad incredible sadness. I am Rolf, an agent here in Paseo, the capital of Mota. 
I shake my head as if to scatter the remnants of the dream. I have no time to worry about. Or, wow, I can't read. Worry like a child about nightmares in this modern age, especially with mother brain planning and controlling all aspects of the environment. I open my window and take a deep breath of fresh air. It seems to wash away the bad feelings left by my dream. <clears throat> and note we will not be playing Fantasy Star 1 just because it's not part of this uh, the classics uh, library. I think uh, Fantasy Star 1 was an 8-bit game released for the Master Drive. Not the Mega Drive, but the Master Drive. In the very first edition of the Sega. Okay, I'm good. How are you, Govna? Almost two years have passed since you started working for me, the commander of Mota. Ooh, that's right, you're the commander of Mota. Uh, it will be the toughest job you have ever done, but it is vital to the future of Mota. As you know, Algo has been brought up by Mother Brain. My work as commander has been to smoothly promote the plans of Mother Brain. So you're just a propagator. I had believed that Mother Brain never makes mistakes. But those monsters all over Moda are just too much. Well, what monsters all over Moda? We must find out by ourselves why those monsters were born and how to bring them under control. Your mission is to go to the Biosystems Lab and get the recorder. If we look into the data, we can figure out how the Biolabs or the Biosystems Labs ended up making those monsters Rolf. I hope from the bottom of my heart that you come back safely with the recorder. We'll see each other again. Well, thank you so much for your confidence in my abilities. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our house real quick to pick up our first party member. N Nii, Nei, I'm not sure how to say her name. We pronounced her name Nii when we were kids because we had no idea what her name was properly pronounced as. I'm pretty sure it's Nei, um, and that kind of sounds strange after having pronounced it Nii all those years, but whatever. And Nii is a Newman, uh, a non-human, I believe is what that means. <clears throat> when we first met, she looked at me in just that way. That was seven months ago. She was the product of a mixture of human cells and that of a bio monster. She was an outcast. You were still small, but now you can take care of yourself. So, she has grown and developed very quickly. Uh, physically. And who knows, maybe mentally as well. I'm going on a dangerous journey. Too dangerous for you. I worry about you like you were my sister. Nei yeah, stood in the doorway. Nei stood in the doorway. Whatever. To keep me from leaving. Please, Rolf, take me with you. I'll do anything for you. I took my sack and started to go, but Nay still blocked the way. I had no choice. Okay, we decided to let her come. Alright, what do the buttons do? C brings up the menu. And I guess that's B, actually, because we're on a Logitech controller. On the Sega controller, it would be C. Okay, B cancels menu. A is action. Okay, let's uh, check everybody out. State. Okay, that just looks um, item. Let's see who has items. Knife, carbon suit, shoes. Nia has ribbon, carbon vest, sandals. So you don't have any weapons, and you have a knife. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what's uh? Do I have any money? What's my money? Meseda. That's right. Meseda is money. I have two hundred Meseda. Let's start talking to people. Do not get close to the bridge on the north. River. Many people have been killed there by a man named Darum. Yeah, Darum's kind of violent. Thanks to the Biosystems Lab, Moda flourished. Yep. My dad is just goofing off the other day. Well, what a role model. He says he can live without working. Eh, technically that's true. For now. If there's something you would like to know about Moda, you should go to the library at the central tower. Ah, oh, somebody with useful information. Uh, what's this? Is this the item store? Uh, monomate, diamate, antidote, telepipe, escape pipe. Mm, we will need monomate, but not yet.
Maybe you should go back home when you get to a strange town. There might be someone strange who comes looking for you. Uh, I wonder if that didn't translate uh, totally correct or totally accurate from Japanese. I'm going to be a thief when I grow up. Oh, really, kid? All right. Uh, let's see. Weapons. We need some weapons. I want a steel bar for Ney. I want another steel bar for Ney. Um. Blade race. All right, cool. Let's um, equip. I don't remember if it matters what hand. Um, no job. Oh, that's right. It tells you what your job is. So yeah, I'm an agent of Moda. Wait, how much does a knife cost? Hundred. Sonic gun is 640. Ugh. <clears throat> oh, we started. Uh, we started this up without me busting out my notes. I don't think we'll need it for this first episode. Okay, armor is expensive. Ugh. Okay, let's. I get oopsies. I don't want to go back in. Careful out there. Thanks, dude. Uh, let's buy, uh, like, two Monomate. Okay. We will use and buy so much. Monomate, Dimate. Oh, yeah, I already talked to you. You didn't have anything useful to say. From now on, women should be armed and should fight. I believe in that. Well, good for you, because, well, the woman who's with me now is armed, but she's not technically a human woman. She's a Newman. Of course, we don't learn that term until even Fantasy Star 4. The timeline gets confusing. Let's see, I think we've already talked to those people. Oh, yep, there's nothing unusual there. Thank you. Sounds people. I'm glad I moved here from Arima. Hmm, Arima will be our next town that we go to. It hasn't rained for a while. The lake even dried up. And no one is concerned about this. At least it doesn't seem to be. Uh, let's see. Now these are... So these little towers... This is kind of a cool feature. This just like illustrates how everything is connected to mother brain Let's see this is our house let's go to the central control tower let's go to the library I understand that Rolf and the others are going to the biosystems lab to get the recorder um, yeah let's look at the biosystems uh, creatures suitable to live on motor are created through breed improvements. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All DNA data of Algol are stored there. The reason why Moda was turned into the largest agricultural planet in Algol is owed to the work of this biosystems lab. However, an accident happened in which the biolab systems brought about a creature that is dangerous to humans. We find out what this creature is only when we confront the creature. And this, this is specifically uh, the boss, or a boss, that we encounter. So there's a creature that's dangerous to humans. Biolab systems was shut down immediately, but no report on the cause or remedy has been made yet. Yes, I want to know about uh, Moda. It used to be a desert, but Mother Brain was brought in, and Moda has become a green, green planet. Meticulous plans. Uh, Mother Brain created the biosystem slab Climatrol, which we will go to soon. Uh, yeah, let's uh, learn about Mother Brain. 
huge computer with enough power to control everything in the world of Algo. Uh, fun fact, Algol is actually a star in the Milky Way galaxy. I can't remember uh, exactly where it's located, but it's part of one of the constellations that you can see uh, in the sky. Um, so that was a neat little fact that I learned um, when I played this game. Okay, Mother Brain was brought into Palm in the year AW845, and then the network spread to Mota and Dizo. It is Mother Brain which controls the systems such as biosystems, lab, climate control, dams, and so on. Thus, Mother Brain is essential to our life, but nobody knows who made Mother Brain or where it is. Um, and sadly, we don't ever get to see uh, uh, Palm, Palma, Parm, Parma. It's depending on the game that you play. I think it's different just because it doesn't translate from the Japanese to English very well. Uh, let's uh, learn about dams. There are rivers running in all four directions, east, west, north, south. They control the amount of water. The names are green, yellow, red, and blue. In order to enter each dam, a card whose color matches the color is required. That makes sense. They're supposed to be in a control tower, but its location is secret. The smallest dam is the red dam, and the structures get more complicated in the order of yellow, blue, and green. I think that's a clue as to uh, a sequence that we will have to do later on. Uh, yeah, spoilers, it is. Uh, yeah, and lastly, let's go ahead and learn about climate control. Just the weather. Controls the temperature and maintains the proper amount of rainfall. Uh-oh. Well, it's not raining, so something must be wrong with climate troll. No. <clears throat> Thank you, library lady. That was very helpful. This is Central Tower and Pazio, the capital motor. Oh, thanks. I gathered that. A guy named Darren will rob you of your money. Well, he'll do more than that. Uh, this is the teleporter, right? Oh, 29 points to go up. Yeah, it needs... Nay, needs 12 points. Uh, I guess so. Just one. Uh... I guess we'll just use the... Uh, character's first name. Uh, yes. I see, uh, okay. What do you have to say? If you have money, you can always get your body cloned at the clone lab. You are armed and look so brave, but if you don't keep your weapons in good shape, they are worth nothing. Thanks. You actually don't have to repair weapons, I don't think, in this game. If I remember correctly. Why should that work for a living? Good point, kid. Hunters are the coolest guys. They really are, are strong and so dependable. I used to work at the biosystems lab on the other side of the lake. So tell me more, dude. So, um, this is our revive center. Some RPGs have, you know, temples, shrines, uh, doctors, what have you. We have a clone center. And the clone uh, lady, her dude, um, kind of scary. Okay, we're ready to go out into the world and uh, fight a couple of mobs, and then uh, we'll, I think we'll get to level 2, yeah, we'll get to level 2 with Rolf, and then uh, come save, and then call it good. Here's a teleporter, uh, when you go to other cities that you visited, so you have to visit a new city and then you can use the teleporters to go back and forth. Since we haven't visited any other city, of course. Wait. Oh, in the hospital. I think the hospital... not just restores health, but like removes conditions, so... Alrighty. And that's Pazeo. Okay. And what we do usually till I think level one to three. 
is just wander around, Pazio. Come on. And here is our first random encounter. Strategy. We want Nii to fight. Fight! There we go. Ah, I wanted them to attack the same. So uh, the rounds will just keep going until you press, I think, the B button. Let's see. I think it's B. Yeah. You have to pr you have to press a button to interrupt the rounds. Otherwise, it'll just perpetually going and doing the same thing that you told it to. Do. Okay. Take these fire ants down. <clears throat> All right. Five experience points and 15 Maseta. Okay. Oh, we better... I don't have any techniques yet. All right. Okay, uh, now you can heal. I think you have to go to the hospital to restore your um, your t uh, your technique points, your TP. <coughs> These mosquitoes are mosquitoes are annoying. Possibly the most annoying types of insects, just because they can heal themselves from damaging you. Five experience points and fifteen mosquito. Hooray! So this is pretty much it. Let's cross. Let's go ahead and cross the bridge. I think that we can. Um, on the bridges, we're safe. Oops. All right. Let's uh, explore a little bit. Uh, uh, let's hope we don't run into a fight we can't take. And, oh, we're gonna get ambushed. Oh, we need f Oh, crap. Um. Huh. Might probably want to run from this fight. Yeah. Alright, here's the next town. We made it. And wow, what a dump. Why in the world did you come to Aramat? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, I have to agree with you there. I know, the height of those scoundrels is at a building in Shure. Alright, well, I guess I better remember that. The scoundrels must have two more dynamite sticks. Unless we take them away, another town will be destroyed. So, how are they going to destroy an entire town with two dynamite sticks? I hear that those bad guys are very cautious and keep their stuff in a locked container. Okay, that's good to know. Oh man, graves. Nothing unusual, there's like 15, 20 graves here. I guess that's not considered unusual. The scoundrels stole all the food, kill all the men, and kidnap the women. Those who are left with the powers who are only waiting to die. Well, this is depressing. Why is the music so upbeat? Darum is not a bad guy. The reason he became violent is his daughter TM was kidnapped. Well, now we have more context about Darum. Wiped out by the scoundrels. Yep, I gathered that. And there's nothing left. So, why are y'all still here? Why haven't you... Oh, that's right, the bio monsters. What's most frightening is humans, not monsters. The scoundrels always come from the east. So, 
based off of the clues that they've been giving us, we have to go east to find this place called Shure, which we will not go to yet, but it's way above our skill level right now. And, uh, gear and everything. Oh, I already talked to this guy. If only those scoundrels hadn't come to this town, Darren and his daughter TM could have lived a happy life. There's probably a lot of things that, uh, could have ended up better if they hadn't destroyed the town. They blew up everyone's houses with dynamite. Oh. I see. Okay, I already did talk to you. Alright, well. Sorry guys, uh, your town's in shambles, but uh, I've got a jet because... Now that I've been to Arima, we can go back to Pazeo. Can't I just get like an easier encounter? Like, okay, this one's okay. All right, let's fight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get him. All right, nice. Dodged. All right, that's right. She levels quite quickly. All right, heal yourself. Only does six. Hmm. That's fine. That's all we need. <clears throat> now we need to go back. I think we can restore our um, technique points also by arresting. There's a knock at the door! Well, who is it? I've heard that Rolf and Ney are trying to solve the mystery of the biomonsters. I am a professional biomonster hunter. I have little talent except that I am good with a gun. I also want to go with you. My name is Rudo, which is for, for Rudolf Steiner. <laughs> Uh, maybe you think you know a better name for me. Nah, we're fine. Your name fits you well. I'm glad to have you in our group. Let's check the roster. Let's check you out, Rudo. Left the army and became a hunter after a wife and child died. Oh, that's right. He has a kind of a sad story. Very strong, can use heavy guns with ease. Um... He's being very modest when he says he has little skill. Rudo's a friggin' tank. And he will be in the front of our party forever. Because he's uh, able to take the hard hits and... Uh, uh, how do I say it? Meet out some uh, pretty heavy punishment on uh, the monsters. So let's reorganize. <coughs> Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. State? Order, that's what we want. Rudo, Rolf, and then Ney. Can I go back in and rest? Um. Hmm, okay, never mind. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to look at uh, his weapons. Derp. Is it strength? There we go. Uh, headgear, bow gun, fiber coat, and boots. Hmm. I think the bow gun's actually just like actual bow and arrow or crossbow. But, but maybe it's more powerful, I don't know. Oh, 
Uh, I think this is where we go. Heal. Yes, that's it. Okay. How much more do we have? 24? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, as you can see, Rudo, he... Uh, will definitely be a huge boon to the party this early on. Okay, well, uh, that's the the introduction to Fantasy Star 2. We'll go ahead and um, end the episode here. Let's go save our game. Oh, seriously, I have to name it every time? Okay. Uh, we're just gonna name it A. Uh, no, we are not going to venture some more. Alrighty. So, uh, in our next episode, we will do some more monster fighting. We'll explore a little bit around the area. We won't get too crazy because... Party deaths don't happen too often, uh, but uh, it's uh, it's happened before, usually early game, um, just because I accidentally have wandered into some area where I meet a monster that's way too powerful for me. So anyway, uh, until next episode, so long for now.